When it comes to the mortgage application process, one of the most important aspects to your application is credit. It's one of those topics as, as a loan officer, I, I just think people cringe over um, because it's mysterious, right? Um, what is it? Why do I need it? Um, I don't really know how to, how to optimize it. And you know, why does it even matter in your process? And so we're gonna talk about it today. We're gonna to dive in into what credit is, why it's important, how it's structured, and how it impacts your mortgage application. And then most importantly, what can you do to optimize your credit? Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what credit is. Credit is basically an indication of your likelihood to repay, all right? What is the likelihood that you are going to pay the lender back, all right? Lenders wanna know how well you've done that in the past and how likely it is that you're gonna to continue to do it well in the future. So your credit overall profile is an indication of that, it's a record of that. And so let's dive into um, what it's compiled of. So there's two main parts, which is your credit history, okay? and your credit scores. Those are two different things. Um, and so we're gonna dive into each one specifically. Your credit history is gonna show um, how well you, or, or, or how poorly you paid back obligations, debt obligations in the past, okay? All the way back to when you first started. It's all there, okay, believe it or not. And so you wanna make sure that your credit history is as clean as possible. And if you had negative things on your credit before, you wanna make sure that they're as far back behind you as possible. And so that's the gist of what your credit history is. It's a detailed uh, report on the trade lines that you've had open in the past or currently have open and how you repaid those trade lines. Now your credit scores uh, are basically a numerical way of identifying how well or not well you uh, have managed your credit history. So your credit scores are a quick way for lenders of all types to get an idea of how well of a borrower you ha you are and how well of a borrower or how well have you performed at paying back obligations that you have owed. So your credit score is based on your credit history. Okay. Now how? Well, it, it depends on the bureau. And when I say bureau, I mean one of the three big credit bureaus in the United States. Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion are the big bureaus here in the US. They are the ones that have reports on your uh, credit history. And they hold these reports and then basically have their way, each, each bureau individually and exclusively has their own unique way at scoring your history with them. Okay, now your credit score is impacted by many different things. How well you, you or first of all, how many trade lines you had, right? How well you paid back those trade lines. When I say how well, on time or not, okay? And then on current trade lines, okay? How many do you have open? How many do you not have open? On revolving accounts like credit cards, how much of the available credit that you have open are you actually utilizing? Because remember, lenders are always looking at or analyzing your risk, okay? The risk involved in lending you money. And so if you have shown by means of your credit history that, you know, I've got, you know, I've got $15,000 credit limit available, but I'm responsible. I only use, you know, 30% or less of that credit limit on a regular basis. That's great. It's going to optimize or kind of push up your scores to the highest potential that they can be. All right. Now the inverse is true. If you show that, Hey, you give me an inch and I'm taking a mile, right? That's not going to show up or reflect poorly on your credit scores. Okay. Now let's bring it all full circle here. Why is your credit score important to the mortgage application process? Well, remember, Mortgages are one of the biggest debts that people will ever acquire, but for good reason. Home ownership is a great thing. And so it, a big loan means big responsibility, right? So lenders are always going to look at your credit scores to get an idea of your, your, your strength as a borrower. Okay. Now the loan programs that we have access to, uh, many lenders have multiple, multiple uh, different loan programs. Each one is going to have different requirements when it comes to your credit score. Okay. So some say there's no credit score required, no minimum credit score required at all. Okay. Uh, some say you have to have a 500 credit score. Some say you have to have a 620. So depending on the loan program that we're, we're pairing you with, 
and that will impact your, um, your ability to qualify for that particular loan. All right. So obviously, in all cases, the higher your score, the better. That's the first thing to remember. How do you optimize your scores? Okay, let's talk a little bit about that. The big thing is to make sure that there's never any negative information on your credit to begin with. All right, so this is very important for parents. If you're a parent and you have children that are teenagers, it is, it is, it is just so crucial to get it into their head early that they are to avoid negative information on their credit report from the beginning because dealing with it later takes sometimes years and years, all right, and can have costly consequences. So again, avoiding negative information on your credit history and thus keeping your credit score as high as possible is just definitely priority number one, the easiest way. But if you've gotten down the road a little bit with credit and you've got some bumps and potholes and things like that, it's not too late for you. Again, there's always a loan program for you, but uh, you got to keep in mind that interest rate pricing is also based on your credit score as well. So you don't, you don't want to necessarily want to be with lower scores. You want to be as high as possible. You can optimize your credit by trying to remove negative information if you've already got some on your credit report. And people don't understand that this is actually possible. And, it, and, and we do it all the time for our borrowers. We help them by coaching them on what to ask for when they talk to various uh, creditors. One of the big ones is collections, for example, medical collections, okay? And we've seen some new legislation on that here in the US, so hopefully soon a lot of medical debts will be removed from people's credit reports, which will help their credit scores. But for those that are not going anywhere, we wanna make sure we're reaching out to the collection agencies and getting on the phone and asking if we settle the debt for a deletion, okay, removing it. Now, if it's off of your credit, guess what? It's no longer impacting your credit scores. This is huge and will allow your scores to jump up. I've seen it sometimes 100 points just from one collection, depending on your mix of collections and open balances and everything. So important to look at when it comes to optimizing your credit scores and your credit overall profile, avoiding negative information or seeing if you can get negative information removed. Additionally, again, like we talked about, how much of the inch are you taking, right? How much of an open credit line are you using? Try to optimize your credit by keeping your credit uh, balance to limit ratio very low, your utilization, okay? Your credit utilization. Um, remember too, that each card is looked at exclusively. Right? For example, if you've got credit cards, right? each account or trade line is looked at exclusively. So for example, you might have 10 open credit lines or credit cards and all of them are paid off except for one. Okay, And that one is above the limit. Guess what? You have impacted your scores just like as if you had had them all over the limit. So it's looking at all of your credit, um, tr credit lines individually to make sure that you're handling each one responsibly. Okay, keep that in mind. So optimize your credit by making sure you keep an eye on how much uh, credit available of the available credit you have, uh, you are actually using. You wanna keep that as low as possible. All right, now co-signing. This is huge and I actually have seen people not be able to get a mortgage because they co-signed on someone's loan. It is important to remember that if you do so, all right, you have to make sure that that person, just like a lender is looking at you and your credit worthiness, you, you look at theirs as well, because what they do will impact you when you co-sign. So you wanna make sure that you look at um, uh, the person's qualifications and do you really trust this person to make on-time payments? Now, if you co-sign co for someone, believe it or not, in some cases, if they're the ones that pay the debt regularly, Okay, like a car loan, for example, that you've co-signed on and they can prove by means of giving the lender, your lender bank statements, if they can prove that they paid the debt out of their account and not yours. Well, guess what? You probably can get that obligation uh, removed from your obligations to help with your qualifications. So a little tip there on how to optimize your qualifications if you're a co-borrower on someone else's installment debt, for example.
Okay, there are so many different aspects to credit. No one video can really um, sum it all up. So what I encourage you to do is reach out to me directly in the description below in this video um, or below this video, you can set a calendar appointment with me one-on-one -on -one, and we can take some time and look specifically at your qualification, your credit and figure out how we can get you on the path. I don't mind doing that for people. Even if you're looking at buying 12 months from now when your lease is up, it is so crucial to look early so that we can get a, pa a plan in place for you to be optimized credit wise as much as possible and be ready to buy the home when it's time to do so. All right. So reach out to me directly via the description in the calendar below. Um, you've got my number down below as well. If you'd like to reach out that way, call or text is fine. And as always subscribe to this channel so you can continue to get this really awesome and important information on a regular basis. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, home loan drew out. You guys take care.